Hi, Ninja Nerds. In this video, we're going to be learning about Leopold maneuvers. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. So Leopold maneuvers are the maneuvers that we're going to be using to assess the positioning of the fetus within the belly. So there are four abdominal assessment maneuvers that we use to determine the position of the fetus. And the whole port, real point of this is to make sure that the location of the fetus's back is somewhere where we can put the fetal heart monitor. All right, the fetal heart monitor. Because we're gonna be putting that on the back of the baby in order to assess the fetal heart rate. So when we go through this, we're gonna to try to figure out what is the pre presenting part of the fetus? What is the fetal lie? Is the baby lying longitudinal? Are they lying transverse? What is the fetal attitude, which is talking about the flexion of the head and the neck? Are we fully in extension or flexion or are we neutral? And then what is the degree of the descent, meaning where are we as engaged to the pelvis? And I think when we go through these maneuvers and we're assessing the abdom abdominal um, and the fetus, what we're trying to figure out is where is this position? And I think it's easiest to know what the normal presentation and position is. So, so if we can imagine when we're looking at the abdomen, the position that we think baby is in, then we're gonna be able to maybe kind of understand what we're doing as we do these maneuvers. So. Approximately 32 to 36 weeks is when we're gonna do this, and we're gonna be looking for the facing back or posterior, so baby's gonna be facing towards the back of mom. The neck is hopefully flexed and the chin is tucked in, and we also have the head down and we're facing down. And that position is the presentation that we want. We want baby to be in this position. But there's lots of abnormal positions that baby can be in too. And we need to be able to understand what those different positions are so that when we do the maneuvers, we can say, okay, we are in this position. So just to run through really quickly what those different positions look like, there can be the cephalic facing and anterior. So basically, instead of baby facing to mom's back, they are facing forward just like mom. Or they can be face or brow down, meaning instead of us seeing the occiput or the back of the head, what we're gonna be looking at is maybe the face of the baby or an eyebrow coming through. There also could be breach, where we're looking at maybe the butt of the baby or the foot coming through. And then we can also have a transverse, which means maybe the, the hand or shoulder is presenting. And all of these abnormal positions are something that we're gonna to have to take into consideration when we are going into labor. So when we are getting ready to assess our patient, what we want to do before the assessment is make sure that the bladder is empty because we are going to be, you know, palpating and pressing a little bit on the abdomen so it can be uncomfortable. And we don't really want to start identifying a, a, a full bladder. You know, we want to say, okay, this is the back or this is the baby's head, not, oh, this is your full bladder. So before the assessment, make sure that our patient does empty their bladder. They are laying supine with maybe a towel roll underneath their hip so that they're on their side a little bit so that we're not compressing our inferior vena cava. We are gonna expose the abdomen, so make sure they are aware if they're in a gown, you know, we're exposing the abdomen, not just laying mom there fully naked. And we also wanna explain what the assessment is and why. So you're gonna tell your patient, I'm gonna be assessing your abdomen so I can determine the location of the fetus's back and the baby's back and baby's head so that I can adequately assess the baby and you and then put on the fetal heart monitor. So let's go into those four maneuvers really quickly, talk about what they are and what we're gonna be looking for and what techniques we will use to palpate the abdomen. All right, so now we're gonna go in to assess our patient and we're gonna perform the four Leopold maneuvers. So for me, in my head, I like to think of the abdomen as a square. You know, there's four quadrants or there's four squares as well, there's four outsides. And the outside is what we're gonna be palpating and feeling and assessing in order to determine baby's position. So the first maneuver is called the upper pole or when we palpate the fundus. And we're gonna be also getting the fundal height out of this, we can assess that as well. But what we're gonna be doing is, if the abdomen is a big square, we are going to be assessing the fundus and we're gonna be palpating, trying to feel if this is something that's hard or something that is soft. Is this feel like a face and a head or does this feel like feet in a butt. So we're gonna be pressing and palpating a little bit and feeling around the fundus of the belly. Okay, so on this little picture here is what I drew in my head as this is the pelvis, this is the abdomen, and I'm gonna be assessing up here for the first one. So I'm palpating and feeling on top of the abdomen. So when you're looking at mom, mom's laying down, you're facing mom, and you're gonna just be palpating onto the abdomen there. When you go to the second maneuver, that's when we're just gonna move down to the side of the abdomen and we're gonna assess both sides. So now our hands are placed on either side. 
And what we're looking at here is we are going to try to determine what side's the back on. Is baby laying like this or is baby laying like this in the abdomen? So that we can kind of figure out what side the back's on. So you're going to hold one side and palpate the other and you're going to kind of determine which is the side has an extremity or it has a back. So you're going to be facing mom again. She's laying on the bed here. You're looking at them and you're palpating on the sides. And what you want to do is hold firm with one side, palpate along the abdomen, hold firm on the other side, palpate along the abdomen. So we can try to feel what side's the back, what side feels lumpy and bumpy and feels like legs curled up or a head kind of pushed down, chin tucked. Then we're going to move into the third maneuver and that's when we palpate the superior pubic symphysis. So we're just going to be right above the pubic symphysis. It's also called the lower pole. And this again, we're going to be palpating to look for the head and face or the feet or the butt. So is baby this way or is baby this way? And we're also going to see if it's movable. Why is that? So first, we're going to use this grip and we're going to go right above the pubic, pubic symphysis and kind of feel for baby's head. And we're feeling, kind of feeling for this head. If we can feel the head right, right above this symphysis, we're going to now determine if it is the head. Okay, good. Now, is it movable or not? Because we're trying to determine if baby's head is engaged within the pelvis. So we're just going to kind of move around. Are we engaged? Are we not? It's not a lot of room, but over time, as you do this assessment, you'll be able to determine, okay, this baby is engaged or not engaged. And it could also be the butt. The butt could be engaged, but hopefully that's not the case because the baby then is in our breech position. And then we're going to move into our fourth maneuver. And our fourth maneuver is to determine our fetal attitude. All right, so we're trying to figure out now, is baby got the chin flex, or the neck flex, the chin tuck, or are we all drawn up? Or do we have all of our arms and legs drawn in, or do we have an arm that's up or a leg that's up, kicking all the way up? And when we do this, we're gonna, just going to be assessing the whole abdomen, right? And we're feeling, we're checking everything out. And we're going to drape down one side, and we're going to drape down the other. And as we get to this part, right, where it's hot, we're on the sides, we're assessing. And then we're going to go from here, and now we're going to face mom's feet, right? And mom's head's right here, she's laying, and we are going to feel again, feel up this way and assess, feel on the abdomen. Yeah, this is where I thought the head was. Okay, this is what I thought the legs were. This is where I feel the back. This is where I feel the butt. So in that way, we're able to determine and just basically use the fourth maneuver as our verification maneuver that we're going to say, okay, this is what I picture in my head. This is how baby is laying and great. This is where I can put the monitor now to safely assess baby's fetal heart rate. So you can see right here, right, we're going to be assessing butt or head. Then we're going to be looking for which back is which side. We're going to be checking engagement for the head or, or butt, depending on which way baby is presenting. And then we're going to check the attitude by just going up and around the abdomen. And that's how we perform our four maneuvers to safely put on our fetal heart tone monitor and also document the position of baby. So I hope this video helped Ninja Nerds. And as always, until next time.